But if there's, if, if this problem is, is still about, how do we even begin to tackle it? It has to be multifaceted because when you're thinking about how you reach students, you have to remember that some students' schools aren't the kind of schools that we would wish for or send our own kids to if we had an ideal world. So we have to actually try and get community educators more involved and especially parents. When you think about how little parents know about educating, especially when they're going to send their children to schools for you know, 11, 11 years from five to 16, the parents need a lot more help and support in actually knowing what to expect, what to do. From working in different aspects and angles, we always find that parents kind of have their own um, uh, limitations of what they had in school and force them on their kids sometimes. They think, well, I wasn't good, so my child won't be. And generally, the ambition of the parent can make a big difference as well, not only in picking or demanding a lot from school, but in helping their child themselves. So it's multifaceted. I think the most important thing with school themselves is actually to change the nature of the uh, recruits we get into schools as well. That's a big, big thing. But if a child has no support at home, um, and that could be for various reasons, as you say, that could be just poverty, it could be negligence as well. How can a school make up for that? How can we as a society make up for a, a dismal background? Well, that's, that's one of the areas, the community educators, um, obviously bringing back the idea of where people used to go to library, youth clubs, community centres to get that extra help. Schools have been running extra help for, for schools for a long time, but with the pressure on grades, it makes schools prioritise things that are going to pass exams rather than the, the confidence maybe to enjoy school. Because remember, there's there's two aspects to school. There is passing exams and grades, which, which has some benefit and use. But more importantly, we have to make students want to come to school, enjoy school. If you come to school every day and you tell a student that they're failing, they're no good, they're it becomes very, very psychologically damaging. I know five-year-olds who are being put into remedial handwriting classes at five. You know, some schools aren't even sending their kids to school at five. So it tells you a lot about the way the exam system is actually shaping all of people's attitudes towards what education is in this country. And, and really, I, I've always said a lot of people concur, it's the tail wagging the dog. And education does not surmount, or sorry, does not equate to the qualifications you have.